A free piston engine is a linear, crankless internal combustion engine, in which the piston motion is not controlled by a crankshaft but determined by the interaction of forces from the combustion chamber gases, a rebound device and a load device. The basic configuration of free piston engines is commonly known as single piston, dual piston or opposed pistons, referring to the number of combustion cylinders. The free piston engine is in practice restricted to the two-stroke operating principle, since a power stroke is required every fore and aft cycle. First generation, in 1807, derivers tested an early engine that operated a free piston on a chain. The modern free piston engine was proposed by A.P. Pescara and the original application was a single piston air compressor. The engine concept was a topic of much interest in the period 1930 to 1960, and a number of commercially available units were developed. These first generation free piston engines were without exception opposed piston engines, in which the two pistons were mechanically linked to ensure symmetric motion. The free piston engines provided some advantages over conventional technology, including compactness and a vibration-free design. Air compressors, the first successful application of the free piston engine concept was as air compressors. In these engines, air compressor cylinders were coupled to the moving pistons, often in a multi-stage configuration. Some of these engines utilized the air remaining in the compressor cylinders to return the piston, thereby eliminating the need for a rebound device. Free piston air compressors were in use among others by the German Navy, and had the advantages of high efficiency, compactness and low noise and vibration. Gas generators, after the success of the free piston air compressor, a number of industrial research groups started the development of free piston gas generators. In these engines there is no load device coupled to the engine itself, but the power is extracted from an exhaust turbine. A number of free piston gas generators were developed, and such units were in widespread use in large-scale applications such as stationary and marine power plants. Attempts were made to use free piston gas generators for vehicle propulsion but without success. Modern applications, modern applications of the free piston engine concept include hydraulic engines, aimed for off-highway vehicles, and free piston engine generators, aimed for use with hybrid electric vehicles. Hydraulic, these engines are commonly of the single piston type, with the hydraulic cylinder acting as both load and rebound device using a hydraulic control system. This gives the unit high operational flexibility, and excellent part load performance has been reported for such engines. Generators, the use of a free piston engine with a linear generator is being investigated by a number of research groups, driven by the increasing interest in the hybrid electric vehicle concept as range extenders in the automotive industry. The first free piston generator was patented in 1959, and since then, a number of variations have been proposed. Examples include the Stelzer engine and the free piston power pack manufactured by Pemk Systems based on a German patent. An opposed piston free piston linear generator was demonstrated in 2013 at the German Aerospace Center. These engines are mainly of the dual piston type, giving a compact unit with high power to weight ratio. A challenge with this design is to find an electric machine with sufficiently low weight, and control challenges in the form of high cycle to cycle variations have been reported for dual piston engines. In June of 2014 Toyota showed a prototype called the free piston engine linear generator. As the piston is forced downward during its power stroke, it passes through windings in the cylinder to generate a burst of three-phase AC electricity. It completes a full cycle in only two strokes but uses the same steps as a traditional four-stroke engine to maintain high efficiency and low emissions. The design utilizes gasoline direct injection and electronically operated valves. The engine can be modified for use with either diesel or petrol and can operate under compression for diesel fuel or under spark for regular gasoline. Toyota claims a thermal efficiency rating of 42% in continuous use greatly exceeding today's average of 25 to 30 percent. A two-cylinder FPEG is inherently balanced and Toyota demonstrated a 24-inch long by 2.5-inch in diameter unit that outputs up to 15 horsepower, features and potential advantages. The operational characteristics of free piston engines differ from those of conventional, crankshaft engines. 
the main difference is due to the piston motion not being restricted by a crankshaft in the free piston engine, leading to the potentially valuable feature of variable compression ratio. This does, however, also present a control challenge, since the position of the dead centers must be accurately controlled in order to ensure fuel ignition and efficient combustion, and to avoid excessive and cylinder pressures or, worse, the piston hitting the cylinder head. Advantages Potential advantages of the free piston concept include, simple design with few moving parts, giving a compact engine with low maintenance costs and reduced frictional losses. The operational flexibility through the variable compression ratio allows operation optimization for all operating conditions and multi-fuel operation. The free piston engine is further well suited for homogeneous charge compression ignition operation. High piston speed around top dead center and a fast power stroke expansion enhances fuel air mixing and reduces the time available for heat transfer losses and the formation of temperature dependent emissions such as nitrogen oxides. Challenges The main challenge for the free piston engine is engine control, which can only be said to be fully solved for single piston hydraulic free piston engines. Issues such as the influence of cycle to cycle variations in the combustion process and engine performance during transient operation in dual piston engines are topics that need further investigation. Crankshaft engines can connect traditional accessories such as alternator, oil pump, fuel pump, cooling system, starter, etc. Rotational movement to spin conventional automobile engine accessories such as alternators, air conditioner compressors power steering pumps, and anti-pollution devices could be captured from a turbine situated in the exhaust stream. References Sources, Michels and R. Riskley AP A Review of Free Piston Engine History and Applications Applied Thermal Engineering, Volume 27, Issues 14-15, Pages 2339-2352, 2007 4. External links Swiss homepage about free piston engines, Inners BV, Newcastle University, Vanderbilt University free piston engine compressor, engine of tomorrow, goes to work today. Popular Science, September 1957, pages 138 to 141 slash 294, detailed article Kutaway drawing on free piston diesel engines.